Hey, this is Michael Sedini from Eagle Imports and Walk to Talk America. Hey guys, this is Julie Golub with Team Smith & Wesson and you're listening to the Armed Citizen Podcast. From the Ghost Tactical Production Studio, welcome to the Armed Citizen Podcast. And now your host, Trey Miller. Welcome to the Armed Citizen Podcast. I am your host, Trey Miller with Ghost Tactical Productions. And want to say it's nice to be back. We had a nice little break for SHOT Show and some different uh, things that we were working on. But it's nice to be back with you guys. And, and since we're talking about SHOT Show, I wanted to bring a couple interviews that we had while at SHOT Show to you guys. And they're from a couple people that are friends of mine that I respect. They're doing amazing work out there. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Chris Tonto Peranto. You guys might remember him from Benghazi. And then obviously Maj from Black Guns Matter. But before we get going with the interviews, we want to talk real quickly about Sportsman's Guide. Guys, if you're interested in the outdoors at all, you've got to go check out sportsmansguide.com. They've got products for everything for you to pursue all of your outdoor passions like fishing, camping, hiking, hunting, obviously firearms, ammunition, anything and everything that you guys could possibly want or need for your outdoors expeditions, Sportsman's Guide's got them. And if you really want to support us and our projects, then please head over to our website, ghosttacticalproductions.com, and on the upper banner there, you'll see corporate partners. Click on that. And go shopping to Sportsman's Guides through our link on our website. Not only will you be getting some great deals, but you'll actually get us a piece of that pie as well. And you can help support the channel and help support all of our projects as well. So make sure you go check out Sportsman's Guide. They're great friends of all of our projects here at Ghost Tactical Productions. Okay, guys, so our first interview comes from a, uh, a hero that never intended to be a hero. He's probably the most humble hero I've ever met. And uh, he has a couple projects that he's working on, Chris Tonto Peranto. So, guys, enjoy the interview from Shot Show 2019. Hey, guys, right here, the Ghost Tap with Chris Peranto at Shot Show 2019. Hey, Chris has got some cool things going. You got tonight the premiere of War Heroes. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's a docu series, yeah. guys. I think it comes, it comes across as this. Well, it's a new movie, but like, congratulations on it's not a movie. Docu series about a Gold Star family member, Gold Star family, who uh, their their son, Sergeant Ryan Dolph, who passed away in the global war on terror in Iraq. Uh, it's, it's it's interviewing them and showing how they're overcoming that loss of their uh, of their son and how they've turned a, a negative into a positive. We we have a lot of series out there about guys that have gone overseas, the men and women that have served. There's not a lot about the families that they they leave. What behind. happens behind the other side? Side, and, yeah. and, and, and that some families, and I think all families should, and it's not easy, believe me, it's not easy when you lose a friend or a loved one in combat, but um, how the families stay positive and how they've adjusted to it and how they continue to strive and move forward, and that's what the series is about. Um, it's at the Palms. At yeah, it's 6.30 and 7.30, 8.30s are premiered. I can't wait for it. I'm looking forward to being there. Now, I noticed you've also got Battle Line Tactical yeah. going, so yeah. we've got a project going on with uh, Operation Training Day that a couple of buddies are collaborating, okay. going all over the country and get, taking training from everyone and bring, trying to break down barriers of what people, the misconceptions, what training is. And so when I heard you guys were doing Battle Line, I was like, oh, i got to talk to you about it. Yep. We, it's actually we've had it for about the, for a little over a year now, and we've traveled everywhere. Myself and Boone, yeah. they've been started. Boone is uh, Boone no longer, and he's no longer with the Battle Line. He actually, but he's doing his own thing. Good for him. If you have a chance to, to train with Boone, either in, because he loves Florida, he's in yeah. Florida, he's in Florida or anywhere else, or he's with Firebase Combative Studies Group there in Orlando. Go do it. Tremendous instructor, and he'll do some adjunct stuff. He's yeah. doing one. He is doing uh, one for us in PA on February first, but um. But, and you're right about the misconceptions. Why we started it was, you know, everybody gets intimidated when they come in. And you can't get the new people to come in and learn how to shoot because, and you do have some instructors that do come across. Just a, tad, just a little bit? Tad, just a little. <laughs> and a tattoo and a tattoo. And then I have room to talk because I do the sunglass commercials with the tactical sunglasses. That's right. But I do wear them at the range, guys. I wear them at the range glasses so you guys can all eat, eat a dog doo-doo. <laughs> anyway, we do that and... and 
it, it just shows bringing in, shows that it's a non-intimidating environment. You're still learning fundamentals. You're still learning some tactics. Right. Um, we do train law enforcement military as well. But uh, it, it's just really what we start is to bring, show that, hey, guys, you don't have to be a, I, I don't have to wear a dang G-Shock watch exactly. and, and have my rogue shirt on and all that other crap and be an offer. Mickey Mouse, guys. That's but you're also right you're now. also doing some active shooter yeah, stuff, and, and that's shooter. that's great. But yeah. there's so many facets of training that people don't realize. They think it's pulling triggers. Well, there's medical, there's first aid, there's active shooter. I mean, I it's all sorts of stuff. I'm glad you get in there because what we try to teach first is situational awareness. Exactly. How not to get in that situation. How to be a proactive shooter if you have to shoot instead of being a reactive shooter. We have a thing in the military, and you know it's called yep. the initiative. Well, that's what right. that is, it's, it's, it's the element of surprise. It's keeping your enemy on your on their on their heels because you have hit them because they're not ready for it. Right. Same thing as shooting. Getting your head out of your cell phone, looking around, trying to see what's going on around you, see if something's out of place so you're preparing yourself for an altercation if you need to, so you can stop that threat. It's not being paranoid. No. It's just it's, being situationally aware. It's being prepared, aware and prepared. Being prepared. Being prepared. Good Absolutely. Boys, be prepared. That's right, right. Guys, go check out uh, Chris and Battle Line Tactical, War Heroes. He's the most humble hero in the world, but this guy's a true American hero. And so thank, thank you, you for everything, brother. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me on again. Yeah, man, we'll see you tonight. Thanks we'll see you tonight. Tactical. Check out these guys. They're <laughs> awesome. Meeting up with Chris again was a, a treat and a delight and an honor as always. Uh, we've we've talked several times now. Cannot wait to get to Battle Line Tactical to uh, train with Chris and the guys this summer. It's going to be uh, part of the Operation Training Day that you guys all know about. And uh, if you aren't aware what Operation Training Day is, it's a collaboration with between myself and Michael Woodland over at M-W Tactical, where we're going to take training from all across the country, from some of the top names in training, all the way down to some of the local guys in your area. And we're going to help bring that experience to the viewers that might have some misconceptions of what training is. We're going to try to talk about what you're going to get from some of the big dogs, all the way down to what you're going to get from some of the local trainers as well. There is some great training all across this great country. And if you've ever thought about Possibly getting in some training or getting in some instruction to become more proficient, to become that everyday warrior that we talk about all the time. We're going to help you with that. So be on the lookout for uh, Operation Training Day. That's going to be on the Ghost Tactical channel over on YouTube and Gunstreamer. And then also check it out on M-W Tactical as well. So our next interview is going to come from someone that probably doesn't need any kind of introduction whatsoever. It is Maj from Black Guns Matter, and if you've been around the firearms industries for all for the last few years, you've heard of Black Guns Matter, and you know what it, they are and, and what they are doing. I was fortunate enough to uh, get a few minutes with Maj as we were walking to one of his events at SHOT Show. We had a very candid discussion about Black Guns Matter and what its mission is and where it's going to be going in the next year or so. And then we also had a nice discussion about how to evolve and how to unify our gun community and our culture as a whole. Uh, we need to unify as much as we can because our way of life is under attack by the politicians that don't want us to be able to defend ourselves. So being an armed citizen means nothing to a lot of these people, and we had a nice discussion about that as well. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's make sure we go and, and say hello and, and talk about one of our great sponsors, Venture Gear Tactical. They are a phenomenal company that are out there that provide uh, safety equipment, uh, hearing protection, eye protection, and all of that. You'll see me wearing, anytime I'm shooting a gun, you'll see the hearing and eye protection from Venture Gear Tactical. Wonderful people. I want to say uh, thank you to Andy and to Larry and everyone over at uh, Venture Gear Tactical and Pyramid Safety. That's their parent company. So please go check them out at VentureGear.com. Once again, if you want to support the channel and shop at the same time, as always, please go to our website, ghosttacticalproductions.com. Click on the banner where it says Corporate Partners, and you can follow the link to Venture Gear Tactical right there. Not only can you find some great equipment, but you'll also help out the projects that we have as well. So, like I said, guys, Venture Gear Tactical is a great friend of ours. I am proud to wear their hearing and eye protection and can't think of a better company to work with. So, go check them out, guys. Like I said before, Maj is one of those people that is going to captivate any audience, whether it's one or a thousand people that he's talking to. I was 
honored to witness him give a speech while at SHOT Show in a room of a couple hundred people, and where most of them were older white gentlemen that probably had either heard of Maj or wasn't too aware of him. And for an hour and a half, he literally held that entire room in the palm of his hand. Not only is he a gifted speaker, but he is also working on a message that can resonate with anybody in our community. It doesn't have to just be the urban gun people, but it is anyone and everyone that seems to care about guns and wants to be involved in the culture. So please go check out Black Guns Matter. I know you increased everything, but what are your goals now? Are you expanding the project? Are you extending your outreach? Or what yeah. is that? So we're going we're gonna to expand the project as well as we want to create spaces where we are adding political education into the actual event. We're going up one, step, one floor, y'all, where there's actual political education in these classes. We're doing firearm safety, conflict resolution, and de-escalation training. Now people, I think, are starting to get on in urban America, but now they, that needs to be turning up into political power. Now people need to hold their, uh, you know, their elected officials accountable or not have them be elected officials in the first place because of the fact that they have such a very anti-freedom position. So the next step of, or the next phase of Black Guns Matter is to make sure that we're adding political education into the actual training. Do they receive you well? Do they understand what you're doing? Are they on board? Yeah. Or do they feel like this is an uphill battle? It's not even worth it. No. The, the, the most resistance that we get is from the gun community not being as supportive as they should be. More established organizations not getting behind the work. They say they for urban America, but we're not seeing that actually translate in real time. But as far as the rank of file people or new people that are, uh, uh, you know, putting the work in or starting to become into, involved in this, everybody sees this as, as, as the intelligent move that it is. So we don't get pushed back in that regard. What is your theme for your uh, pre presentation the, today? The theme for my presentation today is uh, evolve or die. The reality is the Second Amendment community has to evolve and engage and be better at engaging urban America. If we do not get urban America, we're going to the right. If we do not get urban America involved, we can lose and probably will lose this fight. And that's just what it is. You know, so this this event here today. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you again. Same here. This event today is to get everybody involved in understanding that if, if, if the Second Amendment uh, is to exist consistently, what needs to happen is people need to be involved. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? The Second Amendment community has to be in urban environments, and they, you know, we as the community, as the culture, has to, uh, in essence, know how to engage urban America, not from a uh, pandering standpoint, from an understanding and inclusion standpoint. If we're in the gun culture, we're gun people, it doesn't matter. We shouldn't have to have a discussion on how to be inclusive, and that, I guess that's exactly. what you're trying to yeah. break down those barriers. Exactly, because if not, the fact that we, we already set back because of the fact that we have to have this conversation. Where we completely lose if we don't fix the thing that we even have to have this. My job needs to be obsolete. There should be no reason for Black Lives Matter to exist. And after, after 10 years of work, if there's still a necessity as it is now, then I failed at my job. This isn't, we're not trying to create careers, we're trying to apply solutions. You know what I mean? What's the, what's the best thing you can give for someone who can be watching this out there? What's the best thing you can say? What's that first step if you want to be part of the solution and not be a part of the problem? Don't go to my website. Don't, don't, don't Google me. Don't do anything. Find the people that are local in your community that are trainers, instructors. You know, if you go and hit the internet, hop on DuckDuckGo. Find out what are the basic rules of firearm safety. You might not be a master shooter, but we all can be a master of safety. So that would be the first step. Um, and then just educate yourself on the information. And then we hop on YouTube for all of these frivolous things. But we start putting some information into uh, making sure that the, uh, the quality information that we find out about the Second Amendment and our political rights and how that's a human right, not granted by government, that's the basis and that's the initial stand. Yeah, and, uh, and you mentioned something earlier in the interview about getting the industry involved. And, and have you been received well from the industry as far as have they, have they supported your movement? I mean... There's, there's individuals and organizations and, and, and high-level trainers and instructors that have supported our work. You know, Pete Brownell, as Pete Brownell, decided has donated 6,000 of his own dollars to us. You know, when you have companies like AZ Firearms that have donated and supported consistently. When you have, you know, Head Down Arms, when you have Bursa, you know, these are companies that get behind the work and they're genuine in their approach to involving and engaging in the inclusion of urban America into this fight. Those are the companies that, and the people in those individuals, Walk the Talk America, that have been supportive. And we need to see more companies, more big 2A organizations get behind this work. This only works if we work together. And that's the biggest problem that I see in the 2A community in itself, is the big dogs 
they don't publicly do anything anymore. They're, they're too worried about it. So I'm glad to hear that at least individuals are. But the next step is trying to get them publicly to come out and say, look, we all need to unify because right now the Second Amendment is under attack. And so I love what you're doing. I want to say thank you for your time. Thank you. I know you got a presentation. I mean, I appreciate everything sure. you're doing. Same here. Thank Absolutely. You. Well, Go Squad, I appreciate you very much for uh, understanding the, the hiatus that we had to take in January with some things that we were going through in my personal life and obviously with SHOT Show. But I think that you guys are going to really enjoy what we have for 2019. We are uh, securing and, and booking people all year long. We probably have enough bookings that will last us at least a year, if not more through SHOT Show, and we have NRA coming up. We're going to bring a lot of industry people, a lot of people to talk about a lot of different products, and then obviously what it means to be an armed citizen to them throughout the year of 2019. So thank you so much for everything. Once again, be on the lookout for Operation Training Day, and make sure that you go check out all of our social media links. You can find them all at ghosttacticalproductions.com, and we'll see you soon. Super Fi. Thanks for listening to the Armed Citizen Podcast. To check out our full lineup of pro-gun media content, including our product reviews, live shows, and other Second Amendment activity, please check out our website, www.ghosttacticalproductions.com.